So I'm a pie, as I always, this, I started out doing this thing, uh, when I first opened, I always been a big fan of like Fear and all these bands, and, uh, and punk rock in the day, and they always did the anarchy sign, so for the Apple Pies, I always do like a, the A, just like that. Some people get it, some people don't know what the heck's going on. But for this one, we're going to do it up right. If you got the Anarchy A on your apple pie, then you know you you got one done by me. Isn't that pretty? Tighten that back up a little bit. That's all right. That's sweet. All right, so now we need to do the fun stuff. This is Waylon James Henry's favorite part. That's my song. He likes to paint the pies. He also likes to eat straight butter all the time. And for some reason, and he's skinny. But it's because he's young. Drive my trucker's gonna dig that pie right there, brother. It's too bad they're not gonna come in here right now when I'm pulling it out of the oven. Because they'd be very happy. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is tight. Look at this. See that sucker bubbling up? That's what I'm talking about. You, that sucker right there, you can tell that's ready to go, brother. Because that thing is like begging to be eaten right now. All right, cool. So that's done. That's apple pie. Those boys are going to be happy. Big time. Mr. Rogers actually. All right, Liz, I'm out of here. I'll be back to pick that up in a little while, all right? Peace! You know, we met his wife, and we, had, we were just like, we all hit it off big time. And then every time, it never mattered, because I always had this problem. I never hooked up, like, um, I never hooked up places to stay before we went on the road. I always figured, hey, man, I'll just call them when I'm, like, outside of town. They know we're coming, you know? So they must figure the riders in the call, like, a half hour outside of town. Hey, man, it's cool to stay at your house. He's like, man, you know it's cool to stay at my house any time you want. So I was like, tight. So Patterson's has always been my main man. We went on a tour a while back by ourselves, solo style. It's killer. Bought some pie out there. Not only bought any, but they ate a bunch of it. Didn't matter. We had a good time. Pitt Patterson was like, he probably was like the whole the whole time. He's like, man, that motherfucker. Because I was like, at that after the band, I was kind of we were booking this tour, solo tour for like two weeks or something by ourselves, and I dropped the ball on a couple gigs. But our show in New York City at Brownies was freaking awesome. But, you know, he never held it against me. He stayed at my house a bunch of days. He loves me. I love him. It's man love. And when you see them there, you're going to realize man, man love's an ugly thing. So this is how you live when you're a freaking rock star, dude. I was on there once. T the tour bus looked awesome. And the guy, when we came, they came to town, and it looked really sweet. The guy was shining up outside. We went inside. It was all busted up. Like, they're like, man, we got, like, the hoodies fucking bust or something before. Was it 1500 This here is my friend Patterson Hood and Mike Cooley. Where's Easy B? Easy B, Sean's getting changed up. Spooner Oldham. Yeah, That's right, dude. Did you have any pie yet? Did you have some ice cream cake or the pie? Neither, but I'm both. Good, good. Spooner likes some sweets. Good. I got plenty. I brought more. That's why he's so sweet. Is it? Yeah.
いや<笑>伝えて There's no nicotine on these fingers, all pies. I wear proper health department related equipment. That's a lie, too. I make them with my bare hands right here. <laughs> Did any of y'all make pies? Did anybody make pies with me? No, you guys sat in the backyard and chilled out. <laughs> you know what? Back then, when we first started playing these guys, there was a rule that if you played music and you came to the friends were Benny words you could fucking make 10 bucks a day help me roll cross and shit if you were on the road I would like be like you, sometimes if you're really good I give you 20 bucks it was tight I had a couple guys come by and you know, they'd be like stay at my house and be like hey man I know you're broke as shit I wouldn't even say it they're, they're like man I ain't got no money I can't eat this and that it's like dude you wanna come over to fucking friends and bake some pies for about you know 4 hours before you split you got 20 bucks you can always tell the good ones though you know what I mean Oh, you guys were doing a great job. If y'all weren't too cool. That was, remember that night? We were the fucking, was sketchy yeah. in Iowa City and so. Oh, we all gathered out. around. Yeah, the it's, like, it's like we're not leaving. And you were, you were our front man, though. That you was know, the you, greatest time. We got the fucking We were all going to whip that dude's ass, ass, too. You know, hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. I told yeah. the Amy. You know, Iowa. So I thought I had more confidence of every tour we've been on, like, for seven years or whatever the fuck we did. When we get on that one trip, I was like, I fucking, I didn't give a fuck. You know why? Because I was like this, you know what? You just fucking kicked your ass. These motherfuckers, because I was like this, was these motherfuckers show. kicked the fucking shit out of your place. And you're going to sit there and tell us that shit? Exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, the, the owner's probably already in bed. We're like, you better wake him up. He'd make his ass up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Price of the PA gear and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're always walking around. Yeah, we get about three feet of that. Yeah. You know, like, ready to unplug everything. Just like, all right, let's yeah, take right. it. We're taking the PA. So the charter's getting ready to go on the go play in about five minutes. And uh, they're getting their stuff together. They're probably going to do a big old Hail Mary and, uh, you know, rosary and then get it together. And uh, come on stage, rock it out for about two hours, and they're gonna call up the pie man. And he gets to play the last two songs of the tonight. Freaking, you know, we're gonna have the best time ever. I'm already having the best time ever. And as it, my boys are fucking, seriously, these are my best friends for life, man, always. Like, you know, certain folks that you get to meet early or when you're younger, and they've always remained like your best friends ever. So this is fucking full on straight up picture of that shit going down. These guys are fucking pie style. That is no lie.